first full body sculpt class in this YouTube series. I've been getting a lot of requests for this class, so I'm excited to do this with you today. So I've brought up some blocks and some core balls. You do not have to use any props if you don't have anything at home, that's perfectly fine. If you do have a block, you can use it for the entire class. Um, if you have a core ball, go ahead and reach for one of those two. These are really fun, it's a nice distraction. Also helps with um, engaging properly, which is really important when it comes to building strength. So this class, Full Body Sculpt, is more of a lifting your own body weight class. It's meant to help build the strength necessary to progress your yoga practice. So if this is something that you're new to, this is your first time, please take your time, drop your knees as much as you want, take breaks whenever you want. This is something that we build up to over time. So if anything feels too challenging, there's always a modification to do instead. And you just wanna make sure you breathe through it. So we're gonna begin long side of the mat for a little bit of a warm up. So as we draw the toes slightly close, closer than the heels, let's go ahead and meet with our arms stretched out to the side. Engaging that core, pull that navel in, elevate the pelvic floor. Let's create that long, neutral spine. And as we reach the hands away, drop the shoulder down. Let's lift up tall, take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, just sink the weight towards the toes as we flat back, hinge and fold. Let the heart lead. Go ahead and place the palms down to wherever you're comfortable. If it feels good to maybe just open up the hips, shifting the weight from right to left, to add a little bit of movement. And we're going to go ahead here and just ground through the outer edge of the feet. Feeling the heart as it draws down towards the floor. Just start to walk the fingertips between the legs. Feel the crown of the head as it reaches down. Let's lift the tailbone up towards the ceiling. If it feels good, maybe gaze over each shoulder, just shaking the head down. And then maybe release the cervical spine, just shaking your head yes. Taking a nice deep stretch here, let's place the palms down below the shoulders. As we lengthen this arms, lengthen the spine, press the crown of the head forward, tailbone back, pull that lower belly in, place the left palm down, we're gonna twist to the right side, opening up here, keeping those hips level, let's just begin to warm the spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and place that right palm down, switching sides. Let's press the hand below the shoulder, rotating the spine, lifting the gaze, take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and place that palm down. Turning towards the top of the mat, let's bend into the left knee, Drop that right knee to the floor. As we sweep the arms, let's open up here. Take a nice deep breath in, let the hips sink. Lift the heart, lift the chest, arching the spine. Big breath in. Exhale, go ahead and frame the foot. We're gonna place that right palm down, sweeping the left arm forward. Let's rotate open towards the back of the mat. Just reaching through the hands and gazing over the shoulder. If you'd like, stay right here. Or maybe open up the hips, the quads, just sinking the heel towards the body as we extend the heart towards the top of the room. Take a nice deep breath in here. Nice long exhale. As we release the leg, we sweep the arm up. We're going to place that left foot to frame the foot. And let's curl the right toes under as we step that right foot halfway forward. Pyramid pose, placing the hands below the shoulders. Stretch the heart towards the toes. Lengthen the front of the spine. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, relax over the leg and fold. Bring the chin to the chest. The forehead towards the shins if it feels good. Maybe extend the arms forward. If it feels good, maybe extend the arms back. Hold and take a few deep breaths. As we release, let's place those palms down below the shoulder. Shine the heart forward. Find that long back here. Engage the core. Pull the needle in. Press into that left foot. As we inhale, we're going to slowly extend the arms out to the side. Airplane arms. As we rise up, let's sweep the shoulders over the head. Turning back to the long side of the mat. Place the right hand to the head. Lift that left arm. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's go ahead and hinge to the right. Gazing under the arm. Hug the arm to the temple. Feel that left foot pressing firmly down as we reach the left hand away. Take a deep breath in. Nice long exhale. Rising back up, bring the shoulders here to stack over the hips, lengthen through the arms, lift the chest, big breath. Exhale, chest expansion. This time, as we ground through the outer edge of the feet, go ahead and bring the palms together to touch, lifting through the heart, lifting through the chest, the gaze, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to go ahead and hinge and fold, keeping a micro bend to the knees. Let's let the fist just sink over the body, bring the chin to the chest. Slow deep breaths here. Let's go ahead and release the hands. Place the palms down. 
below the shoulders, shine the heart to the thumbs. Take a big breath in, exhale. Get a little bit deeper here on the second side. So if you'd like, you can walk the hands between the feet, pushing gently into the fingertips as we lift the tailbone, tuck the chin to the chest. If it feels good, maybe wrap the fingertips under the edges of the feet, stepping onto the hips, and then using the strength of the upper body, maybe just to gain a little bit more length. Take a deep breath in. Nice long exhale out. As we place the palms down, let's once more twist open, this time right hand to the floor, left arm lifts. Open up here, stack the shoulders, lift the gaze, warm the spine. Exhale, let's place that left palm down. Twisting to the back wall, let's inhale, reaching the right arm high. Open up, fill your lungs. Exhale, placing that palm down. Turning the toes of the right foot to the back of your mat, let's bend into the knee, sinking into the hip, left knee drops to the floor. As you press into that right heel, let's lift through the heart, lift through the chest, lift the spot, open the spine as we gaze to the fingers. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, behind the frame the foot. Placing the left palm down with that twist. Reaching the right arm up and around. Let the hip sink forward as we gaze to that right hand. If you'd like, stay right here. If you want a little more, bend that left knee. Reaching for the top of the foot. Lifting the heart towards the back wall. Let's sink the heel and towards the body. If you want to feel that stretch into that left quad, opening up that left hip flexor. Feel the right shoulder lifting and dropping over the body as the gaze turns. One more breath. As you release the leg, sweep the right arm high, take a deep breath in, hand frame to the foot. Left foot curls under and let's step that left foot halfway forward here for pyramid. So as you ground through both, all four corners of both feet, feel those hips square. So you want to feel that right hip draw towards the top of your mat. And as you place the palms down, lift the heart towards the toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release over the leg and fold. Again, you can draw those fingertips away from the body, reaching them forward, or maybe start to lengthen the fingertips towards the front of your mat as you sink down. Big breath here. As we inhale, slowly release. Placing the palms down to frame the shoulders. This one press firmly into that right foot. We want to engage the forearms. Reach out to the side for airplane. Take a deep breath in. Nice long exhale. As you caress up tall, let's rise on up. Turning forward. Bring that right left hand to that left hip. Let's sweep the right arm high. Lengthening up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead and lift and lower to the left side. Dropping the shoulder back. Elevating, lifting the eyes. Let's reach through the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Rising back up here. Let's slowly heel into our feet in. And let's join standing at the top of the mat. So as we place our feet hip distance apart, let's move into one little flow here to open the body. Soften the knees, ground through the feet. Let's lift through the heart, lift through the chest. Take a deep breath in, palms touch. As we exhale, let's go ahead and hinge forward and fold. Inhaling palms to shins. Look and lengthen long spine. Exhale, release over and fold. Stepping it backwards, go ahead and side plank. Shifting forward, elbows past the ribs, lower the belly all the way down to the floor. Pointing the toes, lifting the heart, lifting the chest, forward. Exhale, slowly release. Pressing up onto all fours, hips to heels. Child pose. Take a breath here and down in. Nice long exhale. As we inhale, lift the gaze. We're going to shift the weight forward, kneeling plank. Want to bring the shoulders over those fingertips. Feel the tailbone tuck under the body as we pull the needle in. Add that little bit of an anterior tilt to the pelvis. And as we press into the palms, fill your lungs. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, elbows past the ribs, lower half the way. Inhale, and press up. Exhale, lower half the way. Inhale, just have a few push-ups here, kneeling push-ups, just to start to warm the upper body. Breathing. Three more. Three, two, and one. Let's sit it back, child's pose. So we just want to let the heart sink, let the forehead rest. Take a nice deep breath in, fill your lungs. 
Nice long exhale. Let's come back for 10 more. Just kneeling push-ups, just warming the body, shifting the weight, core is tight. Again, pulling that navel in, feeling that core engaged. Deep breath in, exhale, lower down. For 10, push, nine, eight, seven, six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's sit back. Nice job, child's pose. Take a breath here, fill your lungs. Nice long exhale. As you rise up, join on all fours. Little cat and cow eyes to the thumbs. Take a big deep breath in, joints are stacked. As we exhale, let's round the back, tuck the chin, press the floor away, pull the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, lower the belly and arch. Lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the gaze, roll the shoulders to the hips. Exhale, rounding through. Inhale, create length. As we return to a neutral spine, grip the fingers, push into the palms, curl the toes, let's lift the hips. We're turning back to a first downward facing dog. Let's pedal through those legs, bend one knee and then the other. Maybe add a little gentle twist. One more big breath in. Nice long exhale out. As we begin to start to sink through the heels, let's press into the palms, tuck the chin, lengthen those arms, pull that lower belly in. Take a nice deep breath. Nice long exhale. One more big breath in. As we exhale, let's meet those feet at the back of the mat. Walk the hands in. Coming into a forward fold. Let's begin by placing the palms to the shin, stretch the heart forward. Let's get a nice deep stretch here as we soften the knees. Let's rest the belly onto the thighs. Tucking the chin, wrapping the arms. Draw the forehead towards the shins. Big breath, take it. Inhale, let's slowly start to open the spine. Release the hands, bend the knees, roll open one vertebrae at a time. Let's slowly rise all the way up to a standing position. Just roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. We're going to go ahead and walk it out. Take a vinyasa. Inhale, circle sweep the arms up. Big breath in. Lift through the heart. Lift through the chest. Palms overhead to touch. As we exhale, swan dive down. Hinge in the hips. Soft knees forward fold. Palms to shins, look and lengthen, and deep breath in. Exhale, release over and fold. Walking it out to plank. Let's go ahead and join. Shifting onto the toes, chaturanga and dogs, and elbows come past the ribs. Pointing the feet, lifting the heart, upward dog. Exhale, curl through the toes, lift through the hips. Downward dog. Take two breaths here. From here, we're going to elevate the heels, bend the knees, grip the fingers, eyes to the thumbs, walk, step, jump, or float. Look and lengthen. Deep breath in. As we exhale, let's hinge over and fold. With our feet hip distance apart, let's begin to circle sweep the arms up. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, joy. Hands to heart center. So as we start at the top of our mat, with our feet parallel to one another, hip distance apart, we're going to ground through all four corners of the feet. Beginning to circle sweep the arms up, take a deep breath in. Grab through those hands, lift through the heart, fill your lungs, and as we exhale, let's sink down into a chair. So we want the knees right over those hips, that lower belly engaged, the shoulders rolling down and back. Let's go ahead and gaze just over those fingertips, and we're going to add a pulse. So we're going to sink down and rise, down and rise. Please make sure that all four corners of the feet are firming into the floor. We want the weight back into the heels to protect the knees, keep the core tight. Down and rise. Down. Breathe. 12 more. 12. Squeeze. 11. 10. Nice and controlled. 9. Keep the legs. 8. 7. 6 more. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. As we rise all the way up, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Hinge forward. 
and hold. Let's reach for that core ball, finding that flat back. We're going to keep those knees soft. Core ball extends to the right arms, arms float by our side. Hold the navel in, crown of the head reaches forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, float the right palm to meet the left, switch hands with the prop by your side. Inhale forward, exhale float. So we want to try to keep the arms high. Try to keep those arms out of your peripheral vision. Lifting the thumbs up towards the ceiling. Feeling the shoulders start to ignite. Breathing here. Place the palm. 
arms down. Rise up here, child's pose. Take a breath. As we inhale, let's rise on up. Gripping the fingers, curling the toes, lifting the hips. Meet back in downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice on exhale. As we shift the weight to the left leg, sweep that right leg high. We're going to work the glutes, closing the hips, squeeze with the inner thighs. Tap the foot and squeeze. Down tap, up squeeze. Might be fun here to play a little music along with us. Find something with a nice beat. Keep you moving. Ten. Sweet. Nine. Sweet. Eight. Sweet. Seven. Keep the knees straight. Six more. Push through the toes. Five more. Grip the fingers. Four. Lift the heel. Three. Press the toes up. Two more. Lift. One more. Out of pulse. Lift. Up. Press. Up. Reach. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Right foot spirals through. Reach for a prop here. It helps with our balance. And as we rise up, warrior three. So just taking the prop into the hand. Let's go ahead and rise up. Tap the left foot. So we're going to rise up. Tap. Feel that right glute working. And then come down. Tap. Warrior three. Up. Squeeze. Down. Tap. Eight more. Squeeze. Down. Try to fix your eyes here. Five more. Pick that one spot. Four. Three. Two. One more. And one. Let's draw that left foot meets the right. Place that foot down. Hang on to the block if you want. Feet hip distance apart. Reach the arms high. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead and sink it down here. Returning to the pulses. Lifting down. Down, press, breathe. Keep that core tight. Pressure into the thigh. Maybe take a hand in. Lower belly in. Help elevate and hold the pelvic floor. Ten, go to ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, one, five, one, four, three, two, and one. Rise all the way up. Take a nice deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, halfway, fold. Keep the core tight, the spine long and neutral. A little micro bend to the knees. Deep breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms forward. Inhale, sweep them back. Exhale, sweep them forward. By the side, and sweep. By the side, and sweep. Beautiful, guys. Make sure to breathe here. Six. And tap. Five. Sweep. Tap. Lift the thumbs up. Four. Sweep. Tap. Three. Sweep. Tap. Press the heart forward. Two. Eyes up. One more. One. Sweep. Tap. Reach. Let's go ahead and bring the arms by the side. Bend the knees. Lift through the heart. Protect the back. Deep breath in. Exhale. Swan back down. Calm down. Vinyasa. Walk, step, jump, my plank. Shifting forward, exhale. Charanga. Inhale, and upward dog. Exhale, option. Second Charanga. Two downward dog. Take a breath. Starting with the left leg. Deep breath in. Lizard flow as we exhale. Left foot outside of the hand. Sink the hips down. Lift that right knee high. Exhale. Step it back with the hips down dog. Let's switch. Right leg sinks down. Exhale, press back. Switch. Left leg sinks. Exhale back. Right. And up. Nice guys. Keep it up. Make sure to breathe. Let the breath guide you. Breathe. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Lift the hips here. Take a deep breath in. Nice long exhale. As we inhale, shift it forward. Find that plank. Shoulders over the fingertips. Separate the feet slightly wide. 
down, down, up, up, left arm, down, down, up, go left, up, eight more, breathe, seven, breathe, six, push, five, nice job, go four, three, two, one more, let's meet, elbows down, we're going to go ahead and hold, Reaching for that core ball, shoulders, hips, heels in one line. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, put the heels to the right. Go ahead and stack the feet. Option. Rest that right knee. We're going to elevate the left leg. Oblique crunches. Draw it in. Ten. Reach. Nine. Eight. Breathe. Seven. Push. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's go ahead and lower down here, hold, breathe, palms down, shoulder distance apart, deep breath in, as we exhale, walk the feet in, lift the hips, dolphin to plank, fully execute each pose if you can, just five, lower down, fold, Three. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Two. Feel the burn. One more. Hold here. Two breaths. Inhaling in. One more breath. Shift forward. Lower all the way down. Nice, guys. Back to our little bit of glute work. This is a full body sculpt video today. We're going to be doing the entire body. Later on in the series, I will break them down. So as we rest the chin anywhere we'd like, squeeze the heels in, lift those legs high, press the hip bones down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's join. Open and close, open, tap, tap, tap. Breathe, squeeze, squeeze. Work the glutes, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Bend the elbows, rise up, child fruit. Take a breath. As you lift up tall, let's join all fours. We're gonna go ahead and curl the toes, lift the head, meeting back and down and facing dog. Lengthen the spine. Weight to the right leg. Left leg's going to lift. Hold the heel up. Close the hip down. Point through the toes. Tap the leg and lift. Build strength. Go down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. Push. Lift. Breathe. We have eight. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two, one more, add the poses, lift, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, left foot spirals through, low line, reach for that prop if you're using it, rising up here, warrior three, closing the head, squeeze with the inner thighs, press into the standing leg, belly is tight, rising up, tap, down, tap, up, find the balance, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, woo, down, here we go, five more, squeeze, fix the gaze, four, squeeze, feel the burn, three, two, one more, rise on up here, right foot joins the left, lose the core ball. Bend the feet hip distance apart. Arms to the side, sweep the arms, deep breath in. Exhale, squat dive down, forward fold. Palms to shins, look at length and heart forward, long back. Exhale, release over and fold. Planting the palms and step it back. Find that plank here, shift onto the toes, grip the fingers, push the floor away. Mountain climbers for 10. Run them or tap them. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. Go 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's lift the hips, tuck the chin, lengthen the arm, take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, look for one more big breath. Exhale. Go ahead and lower down all fours. Once here, we want to go ahead and find our joints safely stacked. So the palms directly below the shoulders, the knees directly below the hips. Pull that lower belly in. Feel the shoulder blades front as the floor pushes down. Eyes over the mat, with the fingers. Curl your toes. We're going to elevate here, bringing those knees just two inches from the floor. So let's go ahead and cover hold. Pressing down to pull up and in. Breathe here, add a pulse, lifting, pulse, 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 pulse. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. The weight is forward, joints stacked. Up, 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 up. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift the hips for a short down dog. Take a deep breath in. Try not to readjust here. We're going to be coming right back down as we exhale, lengthen. With our inhale, come back to that hover. We should be perfectly stacked here. Knees right below the hips, press into the palms, shoulders over wrists, shift it forward, press the right heel. Back and hover. Back, hover. Back, hover. Back. Nice job. Six, look. Five, look. Four. Three, two, one more. One, ten pulses down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 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 four. four. Don't you miss this? <laughs> you go. Three, two, one. Short down dog lift. Woo. Relax the head and neck. Take a breath. And go ahead. Just walk the feet forward. Palms to chin, stretch it out. Nice job. Exhale, release over and fold. Bend the knees, have a seat. Grab the neck core ball, or maybe the block. <sighs> nice job, guys. That was fun. So we're going to go ahead and come into a little floor work. So we're going to just start using our full range of motion for just time. So we want to grip through the toes. We want to try to slowly control the movement as we lower down. And then use the momentum to help lift you up. So this is just going to really keep the core really fast. So as you place the feet down, lift through the heart, reach the core ball forward, lift the chest, lower the shoulders, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, come all the way down, nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach the arms back, dig into those toes. And as we exhale, all the way up, draw it in. Inhale, open, exhale, drop. Inhale, so I call these rows. Let the breath guide you. We're only going for time. This is just to warm the abs. Using full range of motion. And then we'll start to concentrate on our form, on our alignment, on our engagement. Three more. Two more. One more. So we're going to place the core ball between the ankles, and now let's lower all the way down. Grip the toes, lift the heart, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, squeeze with those inner thighs, grip through those toes, come down super slow, one vertebrae at a time, and then let's bring those knees into the chest. Got a good gentle rock here. So we're going to go ahead and just take the core ball, and we're going to place it behind the knees. So this is going to be a lot of effort to hold the core ball in place. So as we bend those knees, notice now the core ball is hidden behind the leg. We're going to hold it in place by squeezing the heels into the glutes, engaging those hamstrings. So we want those inner thighs, those adductors engaged, drawing the knees towards one another to really create pressure into the prop. Fingertips to the temples, lower back to the floor. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open. We're going to tap the toes, and then we want to crunch the elbows to wrap around, reach for those calves. So we're going to open, tap, shoulders down, exhale, crunch, and in. 
Inhale, tuck open. Exhale, crunch. Just lower your back. So we really want to pull into the center here. It's really starting to pull the navel into the spine. Feel the vertebrae in the lower back. Stay firm against the floor. Ten more. Go ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and use the core ball. We're going to place it here off to the side. Bring the arms by our side. Let's go ahead and extend those feet up. Rotate those ankles for just a moment. One way and then the other. So from here, we're going to go ahead and take the toes and point them. Let's reach the arms high. We're going to go ahead and thrust that lower back down into the floor. Taking a deep breath in. Float the arms forward. Float the legs forward. Let's elevate the upper body. Gazing to the toes. Let those heels hover. We're going to alternate. Right leg in and left. Right and left. Feel the eyes come up towards the top of your room. Breathe here, just alternate. Pressing the toes forward. 10, shoulders to the hips. Nine, reach through the limbs. Eight, draw the navel in. Seven, lengthen through the arms. Reach the fingertips forward. Five more. Four, nice guys. Three, push. Two, and one. Draw those knees in, lower that upper body down. Have a gentle sway from right to left. So we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do pike ups. It's one of my favorite. So as we place our feet down, I know you eat yoga and fitness, you try. Love to hear me say that this is my favorite. <laughs> as we start to stack, come on up. Place the feet so that they're slightly piped in front of the body. So when we lower our that left arm straight onto that left arm and shoulder, we can see the toes. Fingertips come to that right ear, we're going to lower all the way down. We're going to pipe bring that right elbow to tap that right knee, lifting the entire body for 10. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let's pipe it up, lift, go 10. And open. 9. Open. 8. 7. 6. Let the knees sink. 
Think here, I'm just shifting that right hip slightly forward so that we get that nice long side body. And take the eyes over towards that finger, those fingers. Take a nice deep breath here. As we return on to the back, go ahead and bend that both knees. Little bridge pose here, opening up. Palms below the shoulders, hug those heels in towards the body. You want to lengthen up the abdominal. We did a lot of core today. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, press into the heels, lift through the hips, maybe roll the shoulders under, squeeze with the inner thighs as we drive the heels down. Pressing firmly for all four corners of the feet. Engage those inner thighs, take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, slowly lower one vertebrae at a time. Sinking the knees to the chest, relax the shoulders on a gentle slide. Being on our back, so take the left knee to that left shoulder. Extending the right leg forward, press that calf firmly down toward the chin. Take a deep breath in. We want to feel that right hip, right shoulder ground firmly to the floor. As we exhale, sink the knee towards the left shoulder. As we inhale, let's begin just to add a deeper stretch. Lengthening the toes of that left foot away. Let's go ahead and hug that left leg towards the body. We're going to keep the shoulders grounded. Feel the crease of the left hip drift forward point through that left toe. Flex through the right and take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, just sink the leg a little closer. As we bend that left knee, let's take that left leg and we're going to float it to the right side of the room. So as we let the knee sink, let's extend the left arm, taking the eyes over the shoulder. Hold here and breathe. Always have the freedom to pause your video here. Just relax. Maybe stay five, seven minutes, maybe 15. But when you are ready, go ahead and just start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Maybe rotate your wrists and ankles. And just bending up one leg at a time, placing your feet firmly down. Let's try to take the knees and just float them to the right side of the room. Just curling up here onto your side. Just relax. Let your head and neck be heavy. Just breathe. When you're ready, we're going to go ahead and place that left palm down. Caressing up onto into a seated position. Let's go ahead and just cross the legs in front. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's join with our hands at heart center. Let's tuck our chin down to seal our practice and let's go ahead and just close our eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed your practice. On our inhale, let's fill the body with light, love, joy, and peace. And when we exhale, fill the world with kindness. 
you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Namaste. And just remember, keep your eyes peeled for that full body sculpt series that we're about to start. I think we're gonna do glutes first.